Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have another mailbag for you. Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. Glad you could join me today. I have another mailbag for you today. So to start off with, what I have here is an ultrasonic fog generator. This is a strange item, uh, not really Arduino or uh, normal electronics related. This is coming up in a future video, guys. Uh, this thing is what you see in um, like tabletop fountains and stuff to generate uh, cold mist. And on this one, looks like I paid about $15.88. Uh, what I'm going to try and do is put an overlay on the screen of the eBay uh, listings and fees that I paid for these as we go along. Uh, we're going to try this and hopefully I can share them as we go. Next up we have a package here. These are Arduino headers uh, for screw style headers. Uh, this fits the Uno and well you could use it on any one of them I guess probably use it on the Mega or any other but basically you plug these in and it allows you to uh, screw in wires and uh, yeah make your projects a little easier I kind of never like the Uno because of the fact that I don't like the wire interface so we're gonna give this a try this next one I actually labeled as I as I received it because I have a bunch of these coming these are a 3 amp buck converter so we'll go ahead and take one out of the package. Uh, I forget the voltage on these. I'll throw the overlay on the screen so you guys can check it out. But uh, this is a really small buck converter for step down of voltage. Step down only. These are, are not a boost buck. These are strictly a buck converter. So we'll uh, give these a try in an upcoming project. Pretty excited about these. Next up we have another package from overseas. These are centrifugal fan assembly but not like your normal muffin fans these are squirrel cage style and uh, this is <laughs> uh, part of the kind of secret project that I have on the go I needed something to move a lot of air and I needed it to be kind of a small footprint so I ordered these up and uh, we'll give them a try we'll see how this goes next up we have some gas sensors. These are primarily for smoke detection. This is the MQ2. Uh, pretty excited about giving this a try. We'll see. They're, mon they're marketed for methane, butane, smoke, all the good stuff. So we're going to give these a, a good test in the upcoming videos. Looks like I paid about three and a quarter uh, Canadian dollars a piece for these. And uh, yeah, we'll give them a try. Next up, we have some OLED displays, some organic LED displays. And these things were, these are the, I think, 0.96 inch. I'll throw the overlay up on the screen. And I think they were around $8 a piece. Uh, a little bit more money than what I'm used to with the Nokia 5110s that I use in every project. But I wanted to give these a try because notice the distinct lack of pins these are an I squared C display so we can knock down our pin requirements on our small Arduino projects significantly and just use the I squared C pretty excited about this we'll give it a try with the Adafruit library to start lots of good videos out there on them lots of really good reviews so let's give it a go from the same package what I have let's see if we can get these out of here Threw them all over the bench. These are going to be very difficult to focus on. I don't know whether you're going to see. Yeah, we can see the model number. The 4N35 Opticoupler. These are an optical isolator we can use to interface to outside components. Like if you wanted to tee into, let's say, your thermostat or whatever and didn't want to completely involve the circuit with the Arduino, we can couple it and use the Arduino to affect on the other side or vice versa. 
So uh, I got a whole bunch of these and I'm uh, pretty excited to give them a try. Let's, let's see how these work. Uh, I'll probably show these in a pretty near tutorial. Uh, I, I do need to do a project with these soon, so let's give it a go. Next up, we have two boost converters. These are, I think they were 150 watt uh, boost converter, boost only. And uh, I think I paid around $5.28, something like that. Uh, I'll put the overlay up. We'll give these a try. These are a pretty heavy duty unit, really, really large heat sinks on it. I'm pretty sure uh, Julian has done um, review on his channel with the same component, but I'm going to give it a try and see how this works. So look forward to this in an upcoming video. Next up, we have a really kind of specialty component. Uh, we're going to do a, a review on this um, as soon as possible, guys. This is a lightning sensor, the AS3935 breakout board. This was pretty pricey. This thing was $26. Uh, not a lot of them available out there. It's a pretty specialized component. But uh, I have yet another project in mind that I need this. So these things are uh, quite capable of uh, cloud to cloud and cloud to ground lightning detection. Really, really high end. Uh, system. I can't believe the algorithms on board with uh, error correction and all kinds of good stuff. I'll maybe post a link to the data sheet in the description. You can check them out if you're looking to build a lightning detection system. Next up, we've got kind of a big package and a lot of them. In this package, what we have is relays mainly. These are two channel relays for just about anything your heart desires in an Arduino project. These things, uh, I can't, uh, 10 amp, uh, good quality, <laughs> as good a quality as we can expect relay. So we're, we'll give this a try in an upcoming project. I always end up needing more of these than what I have, guys. These things were about, let me look, $1.89 a piece. So, as you can see, I bought a ton of them. If you're ordering them, might as well order some extra. Can't go wrong with these. Every project pretty much can use them. In the same shipment, you've seen these before on the channel. These are the DHT-11 temperature and humidity sensor. I already committed my only one to an existing project, so I needed some more. And, uh... I'll put the overlay of the price and stuff on these uh, and where I got them. Uh, these things have proven to be a great sensor. Not the not the most accurate one out there, for but for the price, and you even get some jumpers with it, pretty much can't fail. I, I really like these. I've had good luck. Next up, another package. Let's just dump it out and see what we get. We have... Some adapter boards. Can't do this over the camera here, guys. This doesn't work out so well. I don't know how Dave Jones does it. So this is for the Arduino Nano, if I remember right, and it allows us to go to screw type terminals for the Arduino Nano. I'll throw the overlay on the screen. You can see what I paid for them. Pretty simple little board, really, really handy if you want to just hook directly to wires and avoid the breadboard. If you want to put this into a permanent installation, well, there you go. In the same package, we have some mini buck converters. I'll throw the overlay on the screen. You can check it out and see what I paid for them. There's our adjustment pot. It's pretty, pretty basic buck converter. Your input, your output, and that's about it. But tiny, tiny, tiny little package. These things are marketed for model aircraft and such. Uh, really, really light, really, really small package. We'll give this a test in an upcoming video and see how the output actually works, see how stable they really are. 
I suspect they're pretty good. I don't think we can go too far wrong for the price. Well guys, that's about it for today. I'm glad you could join me today. Good luck in all your electronics ventures, regardless what they may be. If you don't mind, please consider a thumbs up or a share below. Truly appreciate it guys, it really helps out. Hope to see you soon.